So we'll do our warm ups and then a little warrioring and some balance today. So find your position, mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, sitting bones toward the floor, hips nice and open, shoulders back and down. Feel that heart open a little bit more. Bring your ribs toward your spine and up and lengthen your spine. Let your arms relax. Spread your toes out, focus inward, letting the breath draw in energy and awareness. Exhale, stress and tension. Just take a moment, getting centered and grounded. And then inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders down. And then exhale, the hands behind you, clasp your fingertips, press them toward the floor, lift your heart, stretch your head back, and breathe. And on an exhalation, pivot over. Lift your sitting bones, bring your hands toward your head, Move your chin around, let your neck release a little bit. Knees bent, and then slowly inhale your way all the way back up. And again, into a back bend with your heart high. Stretch the head back, keep the shoulders down, and keep the hips over the ankles. And then inhale to the top, release your arms. Just take a moment, feeling the circulation increase. And once more, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then bring your hands behind the clasp them opposite way. So bring the other finger on the outside. Lift your heart again, stretch the head back, feel the back bend, pivot over. And take a moment there, just breathing. Lift your sitting bones, get those kneecaps toward your thighs, stretch the back of your legs, maybe a little more. And again, knees slightly bent as you work up from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top, and again into the back bend. Toes spreading, not gripping, and reaching back. And then inhaling, come on up. Release your arms. Take a moment, just feeling that circulation, lengthening through the spine. Side stretches next. So let's bring the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your hands, bring the arms back and up to your ears. Stretch everything straight, facing the front, and lean to the side. Push the foot you lean away from down, out through your fingertips, and feel that side open up a little bit more. Inhale to the top, switch your hands, other hand in front. And again, lengthen up and lean to the other side. Stretch out through your fingertips and head down into that foot you're leaning away from. Get those ribs opening, side stretch lateral. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And then inhale to the top. Exhale, release your arms. Just feel those sides a little bit more open. And stretch your spine apart. So base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart for our twist. Inhale the arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows. Keep your arms near your ears. Stretch that spine apart and exhale either direction for a twist. A breath in. And as you exhale, come on through. Just deepen as much as you'd like. Think about the arms being near your ears. Sitting bones lifting, stretch through the whole back of your legs. And then staying in your twist with the weight on both feet as evenly as you can, bring your body slowly up, lift your heart, drop your shoulder blades, pull your elbows back, upper body back, then remember, always gentle on that low back when you're twisting. And then inhale, coming up, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around, balance things out. Stretch again through the spine and exhale to the opposite side. Another breath. 
So just deepen into your forward position on this side as much as you'd like. Again, weight even on both feet as much as you can. And then slowly work your way down up, lift your heart, and drop your shoulder blades. Elbows back, chest high, look up, just stretch your neck, keep breathing. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center, come into extended mountain, shoulders down, fingertips up. Just lengthen as much as you can, feel those feet evenly supporting you. And then swan dive, arms back to shoulder level, palms toward the floor, pivot at your hips. Get your body par perpendicular, parallel through the spine to the floor. Stretch it out, knees straight, elbows straight, spine straight. And then just drop it around, down, hang a moment. Or pull in deeper if you like with your hands behind your legs for a good low back stretch. And then release your arms back to the front. Slowly work your way up, shoulders back and down and into mountain pose. Take a moment there, feeling your spine more activated and your whole body ready to work. Hands to your heart. Follow them up as you inhale. Look at your thumbs, pull them back into another nice little upper body back bend as you gaze back at your thumbs. Exhale, follow your hands to your heart. Pivot at your hips. Exhale all the way over into right dog. Just hang for a moment, lifting your sitting bones, stretching the whole back of your body. Slide your hands up on your shins under your knees, halfway up stretch, elbows, knees, and spine straight. Just looking down at the floor, stretch that back of your neck. Exhale, release all the way down. Inhale, bringing your hands to your heart and back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there once more, just feel what's going on through your body. So we're gonna do a warrior, but instead of starting with our feet apart, we're gonna start at the end of the mat this time, because we're gonna add something at the end of our warrior. So a little bit of different things to do today. Feet hip width apart, Toes straight ahead, knees going toward your second toes, mountain pose. Let's start with your hands at your heart. And again, inhale, looking up, thumbs back into the back bend. Exhale, just pivot on over and into round up. Hands up under your shins, stretch and straighten everything straight. Exhale back down, bend your knees, hands to your heart. And again, into mountain pose. And then hands on your hips. We're going to step the right foot a good step back. So as far as you like for a warrior position. As you do that, notice that where your foot lands, it's angled toes out toward the side of the mat. That's good. That opens your hip correctly for what we're going to be doing. And the knees should be going toward your second toes still on that foot as well as the front foot. And then we're going to go into warrior two. So shift your whole body around facing the side. These are straight still, spread your toes, and then bend your front knee right above your ankle. So if you take a huge step back, your thigh bone can be parallel to the floor. If it didn't, it doesn't matter. You want your hips sinking straight down and your whole body over both feet with equal weight. So as much weight into that back foot as the front foot. As you look forward, you wanna make sure you can see your big toe, not your little toes. Otherwise you're pulling in or you're pushing out, but you don't wanna see all the toes. And you want both toes spreading out so that the base of the toes and heels are evenly supporting you maybe a little bit more into that pinky toe on that back foot to give you good back foot support. And then we're going to bend the elbows and bring the fingertips together. And then bring them back out right at shoulder level. 
You can turn your palms up and then back down. That helps keep those shoulders away from your ears. And then we're going to bring the back hand all the way around to the front. So you're turning your hips slightly as you do that so you're facing forward. And then we're going to do the layers shooting forward. So bring the front arm back right along your shoulder level. And then again, turn to the front. Keep those feet exactly where they are. They don't move. Just the upper body moving to the side, pulling that bow back, and again, releasing it. And then this time, we're going to pull it way back. Then we're going to shoot the bow and step forward, looking up. And then we're going to swan dive forward. Bring your hands down toward your feet. Now we're going to do a balance. So as you're in this position, you can bend your knees if you need to. I'm going to take the left hand a little bit to the front and toward the edge of the mat. And then we're going to bring the right foot up. Get your balance. You can stay there looking at your hand with the foot just raised. Or you can turn to the side, bringing your hand up to your hip and opening that hip to the side. So kneecap toward your thigh, thigh tightening, back of your legs straight, weight into the base of the toes and heel. If you're good there, you can bring that top arm straight up, getting into your half moon balance. And if that's good, you can look over to the side or up to the hand in the air. Take a breath. Keep reaching after the base of the toes on that foot behind you. Get out and in as often as you need to. Take a breath. Don't keep holding it. Always breathing. And then slowly rotate your hip down. Bring your hand back down to the floor. Bring the foot back next to the other one into mountain pose with. Release your arms, ragdoll position. Inhale, hands to your heart. Bring them all the way toward the ceiling. Give yourself a good stretch and another little back bend. Exhale, mountain pose once more. And we're gonna do that to the other side. So just take a moment and breathe. I'll have it to the other end of the mat so you can watch what I'm doing. Again, feet hip with the palm, hands to your heart, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Inhale the hands toward the ceiling, another nice back bend, as much or as little as you like. Exhale, hands to your heart. Once more, keep exhaling, pivoting, let your hips drop in your right Slide the hands up under your knees, halfway up, stretch everything straight, shoulder blades toward your waist. Sitting bones and crown reach away, knees nice and straight, elbows straight, spine nice and flat. Breathe in and then exhale down, red dog again. Knees slightly bent and hands come into your heart. One more back bend just because we love back bends. If you don't, just be gentle. And exhale, hands to your heart, back into mountain pose, hands on your hips. Once again, we're going to take that big step back. So judge where you need to go for your warrior position. Check those toes and knee. Make sure they're going the same way behind you. Check that knee and toe position on that front foot. And once again, bend your knee right above your ankle. And as you bring your arms to shoulder level at warrior two position. Spread those toes out. Get the weight into both feet evenly. Sink as deeply into your warrior position as you want. And again, just bring the fingertips together. Feel that shoulder level position. And arms back out into warrior two. Sink into your feet, spread the toes. Make sure the base of the toes and heels are evenly supporting you on both feet. And again, we're gonna bring that back arm around to the front. 
and draw the arrow back and release. Turning to the front. So this hip rotates with you, turning to the front into that warrior one position, and then coming back into the warrior two position. Keep your front knee over your ankle. We want to make sure you're seeing only that big toe. And a few times, full rotating through that. And then pull it way back. And release. Coming all the way into that extension, looking up. And then exhale all the way over into that down. Feet hip width apart, so straight ahead. Lift the sitting bones, get that balanced foot focused. Bring the right hand over to the right side. Just when you did it on the same side I did. And we'll lift the right Find your balance. Make sure your knee and toes are lined up with that second knee with the second toe. Get your fingertips or palm down. Remember, you can always have a book or a block to raise the floor if you need it. And again, we're going to rotate the hips slightly to the side. Bring the hand up. Find your balance. If that works, you can bring the arm up. Get steady. If that works, you can rotate and look to the front or up to put that hand in the air. And again, out and in if you need to. Yeah, we need more balance practice. Sandy's right. <laughs> and again, find your stability. Fingertips are down or palm, whatever works for your body. Stretch the base of the toes behind you out. Keep that hip nice and open to the front, looking to the floor, to the side, or up toward that hand in the air. A little rotation of the whole spine if you do that. Take a breath. Exhale, bring the hand back to the floor as you rotate the hip back toward the floor. And bring the foot back down into hip width apart in the mountain pose position. Hands releasing. And again, palms together. Slowly working your way up to your heart and all the way toward the ceiling. And a little back bend to stretch things out. And exhale, hands to your heart. And release back into mountain pose. As you get back in the mountain pose, just take a moment and pause. Deep breath in, exhale tension. So a little more stressful than some of our usual practices today. And then again, hands to your heart. Inhale and follow them toward the ceiling. Another back bend with those thumbs coming back in the heart high. Exhale, follow the hands all the way over. Into leg. Hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up stretch. Give a good lengthening through your spine, especially through the back of the neck. Bend your knees, come all the way to the floor and into child's pose. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, forehead to the floor. Exhale, tension. Nice child's pose stretch. Feel that whole back of your body getting a good sweat. Knees together for the low back stretch, a little bit more if you want, or spread them up. And then inhale it, sit up on your heels, slide off and into staff position. Sitting bones behind you, crown high, and core activated. Take a breath. Sink evenly into your sitting bones. Press evenly out from your feet in staff position. Sitting bones, remember, slightly behind you so that you get that nice opening. And we'll just do a little hip work as usual. So bring your, oh, let's do the warm up first. Put to your upper thigh, knee coming down toward the floor. Let that hip joint on the outside of your hip just release and relax as much as it wants to. Take a breath and chin out. And then bring the foot and knee into your hands or wrap your arms around for that 
side to side movement and get that hip nicely lubricated so we can dive our dolphin. If that feels good and you want a little more intensity, remember you can bring it higher or closer as it gets a little warmed up. And then as you exhale, release, and again into staff position. Feel the hips, and we'll need to balance the body because they feel different. Bring that other foot up to the upper thigh, knee going down again toward the floor. Remember, don't push. Just let it relax down, letting the muscles release and have an opportunity to stretch. Take a breath, just go as far as it wants to today. Just a nice gentle hip opening. And then again, foot and knee into your hands or pull it in, wrapping around and move back and forth. Just breathe and relax as you do that. Keep the spine nice and straight. Pull it in closer or higher as it gets easier. If it does, if it doesn't, just be gentle. All we want to do is get that fluid nice and warmed up so we can dive our dolphins. And again, when you're ready to release, just come back to staff position. Feel a little bit more stimulation through those hip joints. And yeah, time to dive our dolphin. What's in this favorite? So bring your foot up into that inner thigh with the knee over to the side as much as it wants to go. And then bend the front knee, bring the heel back near your hip, not under it, just wherever it's comfortable. So the knee to the front, sinking down, that hip joint can be, or that hip sitting bone can be up because we're going to twist the bottom now. So stretch up through your spine, exhale, twist toward that first knee again. Hands on your leg or the floor. We're going to pull the ribs back, tuck your chin just gently toward your chest and dive your dolphin, exhaling under the water towards your knee. Rotate your face forward, crown up towards the ceiling, lifting your heart high, coming up to the sun and the sky. And just a few times through that spine motion, exhaling down underwater and inhaling as you leap up playfully dolphining toward the sun and the sky. Feel your whole spine working, your whole breath capacity working as you breathe in on the way up and you exhale on the way down. Drive as close toward that leg, toward that knee as you want. Lift into the back fingers nice and high as your chest wants to go. And then the next time you're on the inhalation up, pause at the top, and then exhale back around to the center. Release your legs and come back into staff position, feeling your body and knowing, of course, we need to balance and go the other direction with our dolphin, balancing things out. Sitting bones slightly behind you, then that other knee in toward the upper thigh of the leg, knee out to the side. And getting ready for the second knee to bend, bringing that heel in back close to your hip as much as it wants to go. Remember, do what's right for your knees, what's right for your body, personal practice. Remember, the sitting bone will be up a little because we want to move the hips, ribs, and shoulder into the twist. So lengthen through your spine, exhale, and turn toward that first bend knee. Hands to your legs or the floor, wherever it's comfortable for you. And again, ribs in, up the chin slightly, exhale, diving under, origin. Inhale, face forward, chest forward, looking up, coming to the sun and the sky. And just diving your dolphin, feeling that spine rounding forward, and then arching up into the back bend on your way up. Feel the whole body working, just breathing with it, exhaling down, and feeling your heart expanding on the way up. And just allow your dolphin a nice playful dive along the shore, going the other direction. And once again, breathing with it, Releasing into it, feeling those hips work, the spine work, the breath work. 
The next time you're at the top, just pause. Exhale around to the center. Release your legs back into staff position. Take a moment, feeling all that energy moving through your body, through the spine, getting us activated and ready for our final twist and relaxation. So bring your feet to the end of the mat, sitting bones slightly behind you. Activate your core, slowly roll down onto your back. So come out to your sacrum lower back, bring the back bottom ribs down, and the shoulder blades and the shoulders and your head. Take a reclined integration moment. Get that back comfortable on the floor. Hands, palms up at your side, shoulders releasing. And then bring the arms out to T position, palms up, shoulders and shoulder blades relaxing down. So we're going to slide the sitting bones slightly towards your heels with your knees bent, press that back down. Straighten your left leg, bring the right leg to the ceiling. Okay, so you can either bend it and then straighten it or just bring it up straight. Press the bottom of the foot up toward the ceiling as much as it wants to go. We're going to roll all the way over to the right foot up, left, roll to the left side. Hands together on the floor, keep your head down, put a pad under it if you need to. And bring the foot to the floor, and then slide it up into your hand if that works for you, or hold your leg wherever you can hold it. Keep the leg on the floor, bring your what is this, right hand up to the ceiling. Stretch the palm out as you, or fingertips out as you lower the back of your hand, straight at shoulder level behind you toward the floor. Turn and look toward that hand behind you for the neck twist, and coming down for that middle of that twist. And the more you hold your foot and push it away, the more you're going to get that lower neck twist. So be gentle in your twist if you need to. Always personal practice, especially in twist. Head turning, foot pushing, arm flowing down. If it's in the air, that's okay. Gravity will blow it down when your spine is ready. Just let it happen, breathe with it. Exhale, all the tension. <clears throat> Deep breaths, just allowing your twist to happen. And of course, we don't have enough time to hold that very long, so just let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back, bring the right leg back toward the ceiling, flex the heel, use your core for support as you lower the leg slowly to the foot. And when it gets there, just take a moment to release and relax, straighten things out if you need to, because we're of course going to twist to the other side. Again, Back pressing down, sitting bones towards your heels, right leg straight, left leg coming up, either bending the knee and straightening or straight all the way up. Press the bottom of the foot up and keeping your head on the floor, roll all the way to the right side this time, foot to the floor and hands together. Take your right hand on the left foot or leg and your left arm to the ceiling and look up at it. We'll lower that hand slowly behind you toward the floor, right at shoulder level. So not down toward your foot or up toward your head, but right behind you. Turn your head for that neck twist. Hold your foot for that, we'll lower that twist. And just let gravity bring your hand toward the floor as much as it wants to for that middle back twist. Allow everything to happen the way it needs to for your body. Breathe deep. Exhale, tension. Just let everything go, allowing your twist, not ever forcing it. Take a few more breaths, just letting your body relax into its twist on this side. Again, breathing, deepening, allowing, never forcing. And when you're ready to release, letting go of your foot, just rolling onto your back. Bring the foot back toward the ceiling, flex the heel, press the back just gently down as you pull out the abs, control the leg as it lowers to the floor. 
And when it touches this time, just shift your hands near your hips. Get everything released and relaxed into that surface beneath you. And ready for our final relaxation. Deep breaths. Exhale, intention, just let your body soften and sink into that surface beneath you. Lots of core work today, hip work today, arms also. So just let everything release and relax deeper into that earth belly connection. Allow your belly to move with the breath. Exhale, intention, just letting things go. And as you allow your body to relax, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. Just allowing Mother Earth to support you as she always does. Let your body just sink deep into that embrace. And as thoughts of your body release from your awareness, know that other thoughts will come to your mind. The job of your mind to produce those thoughts your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, let the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath floating away. Thoughts flowing in and out without attention. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. Just let the thoughts drift away without focusing on their content. And as you allow the thoughts to drift and your mind to release, your body to sink, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus that awareness inward. Find the peace deep within. Focus in that peace place and let your body fill with peace. Let your mind fill with peace. And just take a few moments to be peace. If you have longer to keep relaxing today, just take all the time you can. If it's time to reactivate for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to your body. Breathing. Breathing more deeply. Stretching gently, moving your body however it feels good for you today. As you breathe more deeply and stretch more completely, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug, whoever feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, Head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.